Well, hey, welcome into uh, Mediocre Risk. This is the 75th video in this series. I am playing as my original character, Wade Fujita, uh, the avatar that looks like uh, Bill Belichick, the guy you want to have when you're going into war. Um, this is my classic fixed account. Um, I, As you see, I've dropped down from Grandmaster in this new season. I haven't played a ton, and I lost a couple of games, so we want to hop back up again. We need 1,400 points, and so we want to come in and battle. Need to clear the filters. World Dom fixed. Uh, no fog. Auto placement. Blizzards are all right. Alliances are fine. No portals. Definitely balance blitz. And now we'll see what we've got here. We want to play at least four players. I prefer six. Who do we have in here? Wecker of Lensenland. That's interesting. These guys look like they're pretty good. So maybe this will be challenging. I haven't played as much Classic Fix. I'm definitely out of practice. Hence the drop down out of Grandmaster status. So we need uh, to remember patience, tactics. Uh, I'm a relatively conservative player. Um, willing to take risks, as is the name of the game. But uh, the whole point of this is, is it's mediocre risk. I am not as good as the ranking would indicate likely. Uh, I'm pretty good at classic fixed. Why I got up to Grandmaster, but woof, what do we have here? Um, going second, I've got North American spots, so I think that's probably gonna gonna be what I want to do. I do not have. I guess I could do this take in Europe. I think that'll be the plan. Oh, I've got that one over in Asia as well. Um, yeah, we're going to put those in Alaska. I'm going to try to get this take here. Three on one, successful. And then consolidate. So we've got a couple of stacks there. There's a lot of people in North America, and I'm hoping that my first turn will encourage them to go elsewhere. White would love. We're going to ally up as many people as will. Always good to have allies around. Um, hoping if blue maybe gets a take down here in Quebec, that white can move over to Europe. Looks like red's putting in in Europe, so they want to be there. Maybe I need to move out of the way for them to get these out. Yeah, they're going up. So that's good. Good, good. They want to get out. Got to see if everyone else can clear out of there. It would be awesome if blue moved. Oh, man, pink's getting Australia right away. And that's a strong Australia hold. Why would you not take that? Take it right now. Holy cow, why would you do that? Seven on two, you'd have plenty of guard. There's nobody over here to even come after you. I was hoping blue would get out of the way. They also want Europe. Oh, man. Everybody wants Europe. I'll be happy to take North America. Oh, looks like white's indicating they want to go into North America. We want to prevent that, White. We do not want you here. All right, Green's trying to consolidate. Okay, we're going to put troops in there. Try to get a take down here in Africa. Successful. Um... <laughs> I'm going to keep everything right where it is, I think. Yeah. 
All right, so now we've got 15, 16 troops up there, two big stacks. Red seems pretty clear that they want Europe. I'm worried that white wants North America. But red keeps putting in in a different continent. So that is good for me. They're going to try and get a takeover there. So card for red, they haven't moved anywhere. Um, I will likely move this stack to make a little bit of room for red, but they're not going anywhere anytime soon because they don't want to hit a four stack. It doesn't really matter if I make space for it. I'm not sure why pink waited. They just threw two troops away waiting a turn. Um, yeah, they could have gotten those two bonus troops. Nobody was going to do anything to them. They're acting like this is progressive, but it's definitely not, right? We're on fixed. We are indeed. I don't quite understand Pink's moves. Blue's got that four stuck up there. And I don't know that they're going to be able to do much with it. But blue and red, definitely interested in battling it out. That's cool. We like to see that. You're giving white room to get in. Or more importantly, out of Europe. And if white comes in, they're going to have a strong challenge to me. But white is moving out. Love it. Love it. White and blue and red are all fighting for Europe. Pink doesn't seem to know what they're doing. Green's getting South America right now, but they're also going to be able to go for Africa. And they're going slowly. Oh, they're going to Africa. They're skipping South America altogether? This is some beautiful stuff here, folks. <laughs> I think at this point, I want to get all of my troops together. So we're going to actually hit this two. Ugh, I lost two on it. But we got everything in there. And we've sort of consolidated green here a little bit. When can we trade? Not yet. But green has made the play. I'm wondering if pink blue's blocked off from going down to South America now. Green and I are buddies. He definitely wants to clean up on kills when this European thing goes sideways. Pink's pressing out a little bit. They're not playing passive Australia, that's for sure. Which is cool. Where's blue going to go from here? They're completely stuck. Hope they try to get a card back in North America. Somebody's got to go through them. I like that. When the trades start coming in, that's when it's going to become a giant mess. White's trying to take South America? No. I don't know what they're doing. Green turns in early. Are they going after somebody? Why would you turn in early? You didn't need to turn in early to take the continent. Which he's not even taking anyway. Where are our troop counts at? Pink should be pretty high, but they aren't that high. Green is definitely number one. We had that unfortunate loss last turn that I didn't really need to do. Oh, I just lost another one. 
That stinks. Well, hopefully we can trade next time. Do we have what we need? We do not. All right. Hope I'm not fodder for somebody. 25 and four cards. Man, blue stuck. I mean, potentially white could go after me. They trade here. Pink's definitely become the, the troop leader. I mean, they could potentially go after me. Green needs to keep me alive in Africa. That's really what needs to happen. All right, where's pink expanding from here? Who are they going to hit? Oh, I didn't need that. Well, at least pink lost one on it. Having to go to five cards is going to really stink. Thankfully, nobody over here really has the juice to get me. White could maybe do it, but it would kill them. So blue trades in first. What are they going to do? Are they going to hit white? I would love it if they hit white. No, just two big stacks in Europe taking a card someplace else. All right. Does white leave now? That's the question. They want South America. It's a smart move. Or do they want North America? Hmm. They're going to be able to take me out, and there's nothing I can do about it. Dang it. White's going to take me out for my five cards. I suspect they will anyway. Well, maybe not. Maybe it would still be dumb. They have traded in already. Red's leaving. That's interesting. So is everybody going to survive this round? It looks like it. I don't think blue could get me. And it would be really dumb of white to do it. Maybe if they had taken the bonus last time. Are we going to end up in a stalemate? That's the next question. Pink's taking a bunch of territory and filling it up over there. They're going to eventually run into somebody. Is blue going to take Europe on this turn? Does red come back at them? If they take the whole of Europe right here, white has a chance to kill me. Looks like they're going to give it a go. Well, I am definitely tantalizing for white. Are they going to go for my five cards? Or are they just going to take South America and survive? This is what White is debating right now. Ooh, 
boy. All right, we're going to make it. Oof. Okay. So. We take right there and we pull these guys back in. We've got some stacks. And we have a big trade on the next turn. Is Red mad at Europe? No, he could have hit that 14. Would have helped all of us quite a bit. Now we see if green breaks. I'm just going to tell him that he should hit blue. Just once. See what he has to say. Question, though, is if I get North America, is pink going to be the one who just keeps breaking me? White's going to need some troops up in Asia. They're going to get stuck between us. It doesn't look like pink is making room for them. We don't want white stuck in South America. That would be bad. So blue got to hold Europe. That's a big deal. And they don't trust anybody. I go thumbs up and hearts to you, man. The lowest troop count is red. We see what white is going to be doing up here. Presumably white takes Central America this time. They're not even taking the bonus yet. They're so afraid of green. Green's got to hit somebody. Hit Europe. Hit Europe. Come on, man. Oh, he still had a South America to take. Okay. Um, We're definitely trading. We want to have a nice big stack ready to go. I think I'm just going to take it. Why not? This is the continent I want. I'm going to show blue that I'm not threatening them. Give blue a heart. See what happens down here. Send white a heart. Hearts to white. Thumbs up to white. Hearts to blue. Thumbs up to blue. Let's see what happens. Pink is definitely in charge. But they have Australia, so that won't last forever. I am currently sending a number two, but that won't last long when the second set of trades come in. Green's going to be in really good shape. We will be eventually... All right, so pink is slowly turtling. Yeah, red's going to be the real decider in this one. Someone want to take red out for those four cards. 
Who could have decided to do it? Oh, come on. Please do not do that. Okay. Okay. We like this. Hearts and thumbs up for sure. Is White going to be a good neighbor? White is scared to death. What the heck, White? Give them a heart for not breaking me. Do they just think Green's going to bash them as soon as they open that stack? I don't think Green is mean. They haven't done anything stupid yet. In fact, they made a really smart move. I think they could have had South America and Africa at this point, and nobody would have done anything about it. But they're just being smart right now. Trading territories in South America, they're getting stronger. White's getting weaker. It's just a good idea. Pink gave me a place to trade. You don't mind trading with pink in Asia? Just keep putting a nice big stack together up there. Let everybody else duke it out. Yeah, does somebody want five cards? I'm not open. I might have thought about taking that. 31 for five is definitely tempting. Blue could do it. Trade in, take out red, trade in again. Pink can definitely do it. Are you kidding me? Pink should do it. I think they're going to. No, they didn't. Wow. They're so secure in Australia. They still would have had 30 on there, maybe. Well, I guess they have already traded in. They didn't have an extra trade. I was thinking they could trade, take out red, trade again. Somebody should have taken red out here. I guess blue still can. You should definitely do it, blue. You should definitely do it. Five for 30. Five for 30, do it. Yes. Yes. All right, now green takes them out. Oh, they're going to get a double trade, though. So I'm going to be able to throw 20 right back on there. They had a 29 here to start the turn, and now they've got a 23. White, white, white. What are you up to? Uh, is green going to go after blue now? That would be super aggressive if they tried to take blue out, but that's four cards. If I was open, I'd think about it for sure. But I'm not doing anything to make anyone mad because I am in the driver's seat in this game at the moment. I mean, blue's doing well. But even with their next trade, they're not gonna be that far off. don't understand pink strategy. I guess we didn't introduce the players in this game. We've been playing forever. Ara Viking from Canada. Clyde Kala. Uh, is that Uruguay? They're the one with the sun, right? Not Argentina? They're dead. Uh, Oasis Nova. I've definitely played with Oasis before. Wecker of Lenzenland. They were the one who started this this room and Karsten Stoneface 22 feels like I've played Karsten Stoneface 22 before but maybe not all right so pink's getting aggressive here 
If blue doesn't turn in, does pink go after them? No, blue turns in. Do I have a trade? I have another trade on three. This is just beautiful. I want to piss white off, but man, oh man. Could have gone for them. Now white's trading in. Are they finally going to take South America? Now that they have a big stack to point at green? All right, this is primo stalemate territory here. It looks like pink's being a little provocative, so that's good. Green's got the take. But I wonder if green's going to be the next one out. Everybody's traded in, so I'm going to as well. I just need those there. All right, I got a 66 stack. It's definitely scary. Now I think I am doing better than blue, aren't I? He's only one card ahead of me. And he's 19 troops behind. We're going to be generating the same or similar amounts. Oh, right. He's two cards ahead of me and ten troops behind. I forgot about the fact that I went first. Oh, white. That is not a big enough stack. Pink is going to knock you out very soon. And then you're going to have to choose who to fight. And it will not be me. All right, let's just hope that's green who knocks white out. No, because if pink wipes them out, they're going to have to get a card into me. Hmm. I think we may be at a very long stalemate here. Is this going to be like a four-hour game? Oh. Do White and I just keep trading in Japan? Oh, he wants to keep territories. I'll let him keep a territory. I'm not attacking pink, though, because that's what you wanted me to do. You want to keep some space? I'll let you keep some space. But I think pink is going to be coming for you not much longer. In fact, it could be right now. It definitely behooves Pink to knock you out of Asia. But they're not doing it yet. Oh, he's being aggressive. He's trapping green. Interesting. Oh, is green going to want to hit that? 
Oh, and blue gives green a card. Pink's not going to like that. Is white not saving any in Asia? What are you doing there, white? I thought you didn't want me to hit you. Is he going to leave his stack there? He did not. He wants to keep trading. Okay. I don't know why white keeps hitting me. Do you want me to kill you, white? All right, is pink going to finally do it? Looks like not yet. Pink wants blue to trap green, but blue knows if green gets stuck, they're coming for them. Right? Oh, so now they're trying to trap on the other side. You know, if you wanted to cause chaos, you just take the white troops out. You don't have to get messy in that battle whatsoever. You just take the white troops out and you sit back while the four of us fight. That's how that works. Why does he have two stacks here now, by the way? That doesn't make any sense. Are they trying to work together to make me hit blue? Is that where we're at as a society now? I'll keep my 93 stack up here. Looking good. Did I get what I needed? I did not. Well, I've had so many trades, big trades on three. I guess I can't complain. Do I have any of those, by the way? Oh, I do have one. And it's Central America where it wouldn't hurt. Oh, now he's doing it. And I won't even have Central America next turn. Still giving green a place to trade. White wants me to attack pink. So we're going to see now if white comes for me or just sits. If white... No. You better not do that. All right. White's going for pink. I need to just stay out of the way. Where's green going? Uh, I'm not sure what's happening here. And we're going to move these guys out of the way. And white is going to come up after pink. Yes? I don't know why green made that whole space. What was the strategy there? I mean, clearly white is coming. Is pink going to do a preemptive strike? 
they don't seem to realize what's about to happen. Or are they going to fortify all the way back? No! White is going to take Australia. This is going to happen. Good luck. Here they come. White is going to take Australia. I love it. Now, will green take South America? That should be what happens here, right? Why would I attack blue? Is green not going to take South America? Green is South America's territory. They should take that. Is giving Pink a way to retaliate at me if he wants to. I'm going to stick that there, see what white does with it, see what pink does with it. Okay, killed them both. Green can't really go after them. Does blue want those four pink cards? Do I have a trade? I do have a trade. So I could take out white and pink unless blue's going to hit me. No. Blue wants the four pink cards. It's got seven. What do we do here with this three-player endgame? We're going to have three relatively equal players. Green had the opportunity to take South America and didn't do anything about it. If they don't take it on this turn... I think I do. Neat. Did white just bot? They've just given up. Well, I definitely want to take South America then. Ugh, they put six down there. All right, green needs to take it out, right? Yeah. So now we're going to have basically equal generation.
we've got the big stack ready to go if anybody hits us. White's still around as a bot. But he's ready to take white out. And they got a third card here. Is white still here? No, white's gone. How much are they going to take out? Is green going to... Green can't do it. It's 19, 20, 21, 22. No. 21 for 3. Is it better to have the bot that can't do any damage to me? I think it is. I think it's better to have the bot that can't do any damage to me. Because blue and green have to worry about it. Right? We could be in a three player stalemate forever. He's taking the cards. Question is, do I just take out blue and go for second? Do I take out green and go for second? Smaller stacks. <laughs> oh, blue's trying to keep it. Well, that's greedy. I need green to fight blue. And how do I get them to do that? I want green to take out Australia. Blue's getting 12. I'm only getting 9. He single stacked it. Oh, and green is chickening out. Good gosh, man. Do I just take out blue and go I don't have a I don't have the cards He wanted a trade but I think blue's going to trade now and make it less likely for some oh they're keeping five green's gonna open it do I do it uh oh I don't even have the good trade Screw it. Let's do it. We're going for second place. I didn't like what blue was in. I didn't like the way they were playing. Green can come clear us out here. That'll be fine.
Oh, I don't even get two. I don't even get big trades. Um, I have no place to even block them. So I guess we just sit here and just take our medicine. So yeah, could I have waited and played that down? I don't want to spend that much time doing it. Uh, I felt like blue was, green's been a good friend to me the whole time. Oh, is green going to play conservatively? No, they aren't. Okay. I thought they were going to, I thought they were going to just like try to break some bonuses and sit down there. But they are not. They are systematically wiping me out, which is more than okay. We say good game. Well played. Thumbs up. So we're not going to get the 1,400 points we wanted to get back to Grandmaster status, but I did not want to spend the time that it was going to take and end up with third. So that was a calculated risk. You can call it cowardly, whatever you want. Um, you know, it is what it is. I don't even have a good trade. <laughs> that's good. That's the funny part about it. can break almost everything though which is kind of cool uh, bring it back there that should be the end of me give some fist bumps celebrate I don't have any emotes on my anything goes account and so it's fun to have this one back to do that please start with your 37 to make sure that you get everything All right, good game. So that just saves us time. I mean, maybe we could sit here for another hour and make that happen, but um, we'll let our Viking win. Thought they were the most deserving player. Blue was the master. White was the expert. So I did defeat two of them. So that should help me a little bit, right? 24-9. All right, so got me 300 points, not the 1,400 I wanted, but we are getting closer, and uh, we'll see you next time for some more Classic Fixed. Till then, this has been Mediocre Risk.